Spin right up there where we feel. Down, the shuttle concept calls for transporting and flight testing an orbiter from the top of a 747. As a hobby interest, we decided to check out this concept with a 140th scale radio controlled 747 and orbiter model. The models have performed well, but the problem was primarily one of learning to fly them. We've made some very bad landings and we've banged up the wing. As you can see, we've ironed on a new piece of material over here, and really it's very quickly done. Within a day or two, it's repaired and we are ready to fly again. One thing we did learn was that our orbital models, which of course had no stability orientation, weren't flying well with the tail cone installed. And we tried flight after flight and we had many crashes. So we talked to our aerodynamics people and asked them what we should do. They recommended that we partially deploy the speed brake and body flap. This has made the model flyable. These models have been interesting and they have provided us with information about aerodynamics and flight characteristics. So I think that alone has really been worth the effort. It's one of these things that was started as a hobby and we found a lot of things that have been of value. The separation, which was our initial concern, hasn't been a problem. So this is the new tail cone configuration and this is the old tail cone configuration. And we will fly this and we'll make two flights, one with the new tail cone and one with the old tail cone, and compare these two. And that should basically finish our activity. <laughs> Good shape. Saw the bed on the power there. Hey, we made it. Now you're going to fight all the engine, John.